What's up guys, kiwij 3 Austin here, and welcome back to part 2 of Let's Play Sonic Spinball. We are on the machine, level 3. Now, in my opinion, this one is actually easier than the last level. Sort of. We do need 5 emeralds instead of 3, so that kind of ups the game some, but... I, th I think it's a funner level too, not just not just easier, but funner. It's a, it's like a huge uh, motherboard sort of thing. It really is a machine. So I'm jumping into this thing that's called a power chamber. What that does is if I get into it three times, then the wheel on the uh, well either side. There, there's one on either side, and you'll see now right wheel stop. That means that, well, that means that that just happened. Aha! Proving my point for me. No explanation needed. Do the flipper catch. So, either of those three things will take you up to this in a different way. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay. And we got all of them. Okay, so by holding the button to do the flipper brings us upwards. And again, there's another one on the other side, too. Now, we're not going to go up here. We're just going to go into here where there is another emerald. Now, it's weird. I'm actually not used to doing it this way. In all of my practice runs, I've actually done the left side first. It just so happens as I'm playing now that I got the right side first this time. Okay, so th this room... Oh, no! Damn it. Well, this the room that we were in is actually kind of sad. It's, um... It's the cell room where Robotnik keeps all of his, uh birds captive before he puts them into robots but one of those cells has a chaos emerald in it so we need to bust them well actually we should bust them anyway and get all the animals out as it is but we need the emerald so I'm actually gonna wait on this platform because I need to be able to get to the left side efficiently. And with the flippers, I'm not doing it so efficiently. Okay, now this one's a little harder for aiming. So, you see these, like, flashing lights that lead up to uh, places to go on the sides? We need the last one. Come on. Yes! Oh, this is going well. Don't you dare go in the... Actually, through that pipe is another emerald, but we don't want it right... No! No! Okay, this is the worst luck I've had concerning the cell room. I've never had it this bad before. There's two emeralds left that we need. One is in the cell room, and the other is... Basically in the same version... The left side version of the first thing that we got. The first emerald we got. It's in a wheel, you know? No! Oh my god, we are not ready for this yet. That's where we go when it's time for the boss. Now, these things, the enemies that are going up and down on the sides, for as long as you're here, if you kill them, uh, okay, never mind, actually, he just reappeared. But then again, that's actually proving my point exactly, is that I left the room. What I was gonna say is that if you, as long as you're in the room, they won't, uh, go anywhere. Or, I mean, I mean, what am I saying? They won't reappear if you kill them. But if you leave the room, then they will reappear. 
And that's all the emeralds for the machine. I've gotten lucky here, but sometimes I have it where when I go through... Like, when I first come back into this room, I end up uh, bouncing into the bottom pipe that goes, like, kind of to the bottom right. And I end up uh, having to come back in here. But I've gotten lucky regarding that. Alright, so at the very top, we definitely want to stop this platform so that we can easily get up here. Because trying to get up into that little gap when the platform is moving is really hard. Well, it's actually not that bad, but not something we need to go through. So we're at the boss. This is, I believe it's called the Vago Machine. I could be wrong on that. First thing we have to do is uh, smash these pipes that are torturing these animals. You can see that they are putting these birds and whatever into the machine. Yeah, well, you see what's going on. So first we need to uh, stop that. We need to play the role of PETA here. Fly away, little birdies. Fly away. The torture is over. And that's the last of them. Now what we have to do is get into the center and destroy the thing from the inside out. Oh my god, I probably need, like, one more hit. Okay, maybe two more. Well, it's gonna be unfortunate if I end up getting dumped out of the room. I'm actually not sure what it means by surge activated. But it doesn't matter because the level is complete. Okay, and this is probably my second favorite of the intermission stages. This is the march. Basically, all we have to do is, uh... Well, really, what we have to do is beat the capsule. Like, we have, we have to get around the chickens, which are actually scratch. But, uh... What we really have to do is destroy the capsule. And the way to do that is by defeating the chickens. Please let me have this one game. You totally screwed me on the robo smile. Please let me have this one. No, of course not. Of course not. And it said in your face! Fuck you too! Welcome to hell. And I don't mean that lightly. No, seriously. This is the worst level in gaming ever. Showdown. Oh my god. I mean, I mean, this is so bad. Forget Jack Bauer. They should just have terrorists play this for torture. This is seriously torture to get through. And I'm fully expecting to have to, uh, to post commentary on this part, because I don't expect to get through this right now. I mean, right now I am doing live commentary, but I... 
I'm willing to bet that this take is not going to be used. If it is, then, uh, hi everyone. So, first thing we have to do is we have to hit the switches at the top to destroy the blocks that the first emerald is behind. And, you know, I, I figured out what's really... The, the real problem with this level, I figured it out. And it is the... The... The geometry, the, the shape of everything, the angles of the layout. It's just so sharp and jagged that it just knocks you everywhere. That's the problem. Like, in theory, this level shouldn't be that hard. See? There we go. Now we have to bust all of those blocks again. But we do retain the emerald. Now, as it happens, that death was actually just the fault of me, uh, missing the bumpers. But there's a lot that have to do with, um, just total bullshit happening. Like that. I don't know how many balls I still have. Hmm. Luckily, I have safe states. Which is likely what I'll end up using when I have to do post-commentary for this level. Okay, I have three balls. <laughs> I have three balls. So, there's a couple methods for getting the switches. But the one that I use most, which only sometimes works, is... Well, what you see here. Trying to go straight up rather than to the one that's, like, diagonally across from the flipper that I'm on. You see what I mean? Now, assuming that we get out of here, we have a choice. We can do the left first or the right first. I don't think it matters. I've read online that a lot of people say the left, doing the left first is easier, but I don't see a problem with doing the right first like to me to me it doesn't matter which you do first looks like here we're doing the left first as it happens that is until i die again but you see just how sharp all the angles are like it, it's just so awkward that's that's the problem with this level However, I do really like the music. I will give it that. As basic as this bass line is, it's really good. Okay. One more. Come on, one more. Now, there's two emeralds on this side and two emeralds on the right side. But first, I want to... Even though I just opened up the uh, path on the right... I actually want to go left first, because, oh my god. No, come on. Yeah, I want to go here first. I want to get this emerald. So, there's this hook, right? It's like a hanger, like a clothes hanger. Pulling it brings this out. And we have to get, this, this is where angles come into play. We have to get just the right angle. I mean, just the right angle into this area. Like that. Now that was easy, but I've spent a lot of time struggling there. Before. Oh, this is actually going kind of well, actually. I'm surprised. Now let's get to the right side. Okay, we don't want to hit that again. I mean, I mean, it gives us points, which is nice, but... In terms of trying to get through the level, we don't want to... Do that again. Oh, God. Okay, cool. 
Now we can move on to the right side. Now, these areas are really weird because they you can sort of manipulate where you go, but like you think you can, but you really can't because it's like one, once it sets you on one way and your momentum is uh, going one way, you really can't uh, influence it that much. Well, I, I mean, I don't really have to explain it. You see what I mean. Uh-oh. Come on. I am at least happy that we got through the left side. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. Come on, come on. No! And, of course, we're back in the center. Thanks so much, game. Now, those are actually springs that we can go up, but we don't want to just yet. Well, you see what I'm talking about. You, er, never mind. Not going there yet, either. Unfortunately, we're back on the left side now. Somehow, we have to get back to the right side without dying. This is going to be risky. <gasps> nice! I was able to manipulate it. Nice! Now, that's actually really hard to do. Harder than you think. Because once you get set on a certain path, it's like, whew, you ain't doing nothing. Okay. Got him. And I actually would have said got him even if it hadn't actually said got him. Okay, nice. We're pretty much home free at this point as far as getting all the emeralds. That's four. Now we go this way. Don't actually go up the flipper. Just go down. And yes, I practiced this level a ton. I mean a ton. I mean, it took so long before I was able to get it. And I was actually, I was telling myself as I was like, because I've been playing this game for fun, like, in the weeks leading up to this Let's Play, and I was telling myself that I would only Let's Play the game if I was reliably able to beat every level in the game. Well, the night before uh, recording this Let's Play, I beat this level, uh... Oh, this isn't good. The night before of uh, doing this Let's Play, I beat this level four times in a row, which was really lucky of me. But that's when I told myself, okay, it's time. We can Let's Play this now. Son of a bitch. But yeah, I, I was telling myself that I kind of wanted to let's play this, except I wasn't going to do it unless I was obviously able to beat the game. When I said in the last part that I've been playing this game since I was like four or five, that is totally on and off. That is not consistently. In truth, I haven't played this game in years up until a few weeks ago. Oh my god, we're at the boss. Okay, this is Robotnik himself. What we have to do... Never mind. <laughs> I was saying, what we have to do is, uh... Brain fart. What we have to do is... First of all, uh... Get my angles right. Second of all... There's this thing in the middle of Robotnik's room that we have to, uh...
we have to hit that a few times. Now, I've... It's kind of inconsistent, and I, I wonder if this is maybe a glitch with the game, but what i found is that the first time, the first round, you hit this switch in the middle three times, and that gets, gets you good, but then after that, you have to hit it five times. So first is three, and then all the others are five. Now, I hit it once, but I'm actually not sure if it uh, disqualifies that because I left the room. Apparently not. We have to hit him ten times. We got one. Now, you saw his defenses, and he used an arm to uh, knock me out of the room. So we need- what the Switch does is gets rid of those defenses. You son of a bitch. Yeah, not much time. That means we're gonna have to hit the middle thing again. This time, five times. Smell my socks. That means his defenses are back up, and we have to hit the middle thing five times. The game does not keep track of how many times you've hit it in a turn. So you have to keep count yourself, and hope that that doesn't happen. Okay, aim, fire. No! Son of a bitch. No, no, no. <gasps> I've never done that before. I've never gone down the same direction all three times before. Never done that before, ever. But unfortunately, we have to make our way back up once again. Now, thankfully, the we found out that the counter for the amount of times we've hit the middle will stay the same. So, I believe we're at three right now. Come on. Four. And five. Now we should be good. If we're not, then something's wrong. Come on. No, 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 no! And this is wasting time, because the time between now and his defenses coming up is still going, despite us having left the room. I bet by the time I reach the switch to get back into the room, it's gonna... Well... It, it, it did exactly as I was just about to say it was going to do. Oh, do I... Nope, don't want to risk it. Well, obviously, we can't risk it now because it's happening. Hmm. I might end up, uh... Cutting this into a montage. We'll see. You know, I didn't mention up to this point, but I've been holding the C button. Well, the button I have on my keyboard that stands for the C button is what I've been uh, pressing. And that activates both flippers. But if you press the A button, you activate just the left flipper. And the B button, just the right flip. Come on. And I... Oh, shit, I lost count. I think we were at one? Oh, that's not good. That is really not good right there. Can you guess what happens if we reach strike three? I'm, I'm just gonna let you guess. <gasps> I, I didn't know that we were that good. No, 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 no! Shit! Now there's not gonna be enough bombs for me to keep going up, is there? Nope, of course not. Unbelievable.
Yeah, not much time, right? Which means as soon as I get back up there, I'm gonna have to hit the thing again. I swear I didn't hit it five times. But then again, my at this point, I'm pretty much on autopilot. As far as the gameplay, I'm more focusing on commentary. Which even that's lackluster, but anyways. It's always been lackluster. So for anyone that watched the uh, video of me choosing my uh, choosing Chaos Emeralds for all of my plushes, they're doing well. Both the emeralds and the plushes. Uh, I'm now I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but I am recording this both parts of this Let's Play on New Year's Eve, 2018. I just got so lucky. So, anyways. I said in the video of me and my plushes that, uh, Rouge wasn't... Rouge the Bat for Great Eastern Entertainment would not be coming out until Q1 2019. So... I've been checking daily for updates, because I really want this plush. You know, with the five that I have right now, plus Rouge, I think that would be a really good, uh, little collection. Also, back to this game, uh... He replaces the windows if they get broken. If you leave the place... I mean, I mean it, it, and it has to be fully broken, not just cracked. No! I thought I hit it five times. I, 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 that. I'm on autopilot again. No, don't you fuck it. Good. Oh, I could have gotten. Oh my god, we did it! That is it, Robotnik is gone. This huge version of Robotnik. Goodbye, Robotnik, you son of a bitch. That's it. That is actually it for Sonic Spinball. I, I totally was not expecting to get through Showdown doing live commentary. I absolutely expected to have to cut it after doing the machine and then later just record Showdown and then do post commentary for that. Because I didn't think I'd be able to concentrate on talking and doing the game at the same time. I'm very surprised at myself right now. So I've got a lot of editing to do. Um. So that's it for Sonic Spinball, and you noticed how uh, at the end, Robotnik's scream was exactly the same as uh, Scorpius's scream? Yeah. That scream is the stuff of nightmares. But then again, so is his face. So, um, yeah, thanks to everyone who made this game. Uh, well, I can say I like the first three levels. Can't really say I like the fourth. 
But yeah, that's it. Only four levels, but they're all, um... It, it, it's definitely enough content to make a full game. You know what I mean? Like, it definitely works, despite only being four levels. And now you can see the correct order of the intro. Now this part isn't really gameplay, this is just a demo that starts up. I cut this out of part one. I, I hope I hope you thought that my changes were uh, cinematic and cool, and that they weren't too uh, jarring or stupid. Anyways, might as well let this run. See what this demo's all about. Oh, that's it. Okay. And let's, let's take a look at the options menu before we go. Mode, one player, two player, three player, four player. Speed, normal, fast. And that's, that's all it is. That's all it is for options. So, um, thank you everyone for watching this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. It's about to go into the intro again. Um... I don't know what my next Let's Play will be, or even what my next video will be. I just decided to make this because I really wanted to. And it's been so long since I did a Let's Play, so I thought this would be a really uh, fun and short one to get back into it. And I'll have a lot of fun editing this, and I hope you had fun watching it. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace out.